Welcome to Railroads Online. I am River, and I wanted to take a minute. We are still here over by the Freight Depot to thank you guys for, this is the 40th episode, and the support for the series has been very nice. I appreciate it. It's a fun game to play. We're getting towards the end of our rail building as far as uh, connecting everything the way we want it. But hey, that's a good thing, right? We'll be able to drive some trains and just have, well, it's fun either way, but we'll have some fun with driving the trains and improving things. Though it will probably take a little bit, you know, less of a different turn, right? So what I did in between the episodes was to come in here and give us a little bit more gravel so we could tie the train depot into our line here. I did take a look. I don't see us really being able to tie in. You know, just a, It would be nice if we could move that thing a little bit further back from this, but... I think as often as we're going to be buying trains, it's not going to be like a regular a regular thing we do, but not not to the point I think it's going to cause us... Here, let me get set up here. Cause us too much heartache if we're kind of forced to go. Like if we buy a train and we want to head south with it, like right now we're going to have to like come in here. We could either go straight and then turn around down by the sawmill or come in here and then back up and here let me finish my thought so i don't mess that up entirely All right so we come down here go past this switch which we want to flip the other way All right and then we could back up this way past this switch and then flip it the other way and then go on our way this way right so we can get into here and then go south if we really want to just so we have options and like i said it's not like that's going to be a normal operations kind of thing bringing trains in and out of there that way i think is is a fine thing to do all right so that attaches that now the other thing that i did was i came in here and gave us a bit of a head start and i leveled out past this switch up here Right, so see, I took out our that the high bank that was here in the last episode. So now we need to cut some trees, which we're getting pretty low on our money. <laughs> so I think we're probably down to about two hundred dollars when I last looked. A little bit less after we do this tree cutting, but I think we're going to make it because I don't see us cutting. I mean, I'd like to cut more of these trees. But we can do that when we're flush. Uh, look, we didn't. Yeah, I don't know why it does this. I, I swear that I didn't do anything to cause that. Let's get rid of a few extra. Because I think we're really kind of done. That one was annoying me. Might as well cut that one down too. Right, eventually we'll cut up more of these away so we can see these switches as we're driving up. Yeah, I don't really understand. I mean, I'm pretty sure I didn't cause that, but it certainly seems to do that flipperooski, goofy thing. I hope that doesn't cause us a problem here. We were at a grade that I forget what it was. Let's go up one. That'll be fine. All right, that should be. Close enough. So let's see if we can't lay that track down. I can kind of see when you get the life is tough in the shadows. You can see pretty well, maybe not as well in the broad daylight, but it's when you go in in between these trees where you have shadow and then not shadow that really kind of makes it tough, in my opinion. Let me get centered up more and see if we can't do this pretty straight. like that and then it's then I overshoot we reach it no of course not all right but there we go so we are fully attached now the train we have down there doesn't have anything on it and we haven't attached all the way down but yeah so what are we gonna do I think we're gonna come around and go around the loop that way and then come back out just for the fun of it 
with this train. Oh, you know, oh no, we don't have any money. <laughs> I was going to say we could buy more. I want three more of those tier one flat cars, but I don't think we're going to be able to afford that. So let's just, I think the switch is on the other side of right. We can always stop. We'll pay attention. We'll make sure this one, these two are right. That'll get us there. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I set those. And we still have a lot of track to build anyway, but it shouldn't take too long running down there with the, unless we have to redo a lot of the gravel. So, yeah, so this one's switched right. This one will flip the other way. I think the gravel should be pretty good the whole way down. We made this turn less steep. So that's that should be pretty good. All right, let's step back so we can get that first one to be pretty straight. And I think I'm just going to try to head. Straight down the middle if we can. Yeah, I think I moved my mouse a little bit more than I would like. in the center of the track that's what i would really i would be great if you could have like like lay track from the hand cart which i've never even used the hand cart after after 170 hours of playing but. all right because the problem is like now i'm i'm not in the center of the track which is which makes doing the turns a lot harder right like so if i get right in the center then it's a little easier to line up but it would just be nice if it kept you like dead in the center See, right now i'm in the center everything i could just plop straight tracks but as soon as i go to start turning look as i move up it's like i don't stay like right dead in the center which is okay but makes it a little bit harder to freehand it We can always go back and fix the once you oops once you get the bulk of it. Yeah, see this I'd like to see if we can't can I just shoot that straight. It's it's easier to go back and fix the little mistakes you make than to try to stop in the middle of this process and If you're just if you're getting ahead of yourself, slow down like that, right? Like I, if it's happening too fast for you to correct, then, then don't don't try to jam it. This I definitely want to swing this a bit wider there. I think this is all level here. I don't know if it's level, it'll be easier to correct that. We still need to cut in a switch, huh? Oops. All right, so I'm just going to stop. Oop, see that big lag spike? <laughs> stop right there because that's close enough. Let's start demolishing. Yeah, I guess I can get away with that one. It's kind of on the turn, though, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's see. If we have to redo, we redo. One way or the other. One side or the other. Switch right, switch right. Yeah, see, that's going to be... Yeah, that's definitely very much on the turn because we would even want to be down here. Now, if we go down here, that's really not bad if we redo. 
let's just see what that looks like from this perspective. Yeah, that's. All right, we'll. All right, that's not not a heartbreaker. I mean, if anything, it made this a little bit less of a sharp turn. And then it looks like that even could be okay on this other end. Let's see. Let's do this other end first just to see what it would. I'm going to stick that out. So it can delete it. Uh, yeah, what am I going to do? We come here. Yeah, look at how that's all crooked all the way back up there. I think we're going to take that whole thing out and redo it. Right. I mean, we need a turn in there anyway. And if we. That's not too straight. See how it turns back here anyhow? So it's sort of. I think if we go all the way back. To like there. Yeah, let's redo the groundwork. So that we're not, so we could swing this nicely. Kind of a sharp turn, though, isn't it? <laughs> Just swung it more. We'll see what this looks like, right? A lot of it will be fine. Like This whole part will be a-okay. -okay. I'll even swing it back this way a little bit. Problem is my mouse either doesn't want to move or it wants to move kind of a whole lot. It's just very hard. Like it's almost like it sticks and then it moves forward. I guess this is why people don't like to draw. Why they buy those drawing pads, I think. Yeah, so that's definitely too sharp right there. Right, if I bring it back a little bit, I can go a little bit smoother. This is what I mean. If you really want to be fine-tuned, just I would recommend lay everything down and then smooth out the spots. Come on, one pixel, please. That's... Can you attach? Not really. Right. See what I mean? Like, so it, I think that looks better. I'm not sure how much better it is, but I took out that extra bit. Like, we could even come right here and do more. Let's get rid of some trees. We'll take a look at our money when we I think we might end up swinging this even wider. It definitely was influenced by the curvature of the roadbed. Yeah, I think we definitely swing that even wider. All right, well, let, before we delete it, let's do this. All right, we'll do. Yeah, I think.
think that's going to be nice. Okay, we'll pick up right about there. Or there. Ah, oh, just deleted what I... Go back and put that road bed in. Yeah, it's just too too sharp for the main line right there. And carefully delete that. I really can start. Yeah. And of course there's a one foot gap there. Because why wouldn't there be? Which is like the hardest thing to fill. All right, because you can't really just do one foot and line it up underneath of the tracks. And then we'll just have to let's put some more gravel back in. From here. Might as well run it from this way, see how it goes. Keep clicking. It's still going to be fairly sharp. Yeah, sharp but doable. Let's see, how much money do we have? 156. 70, 75 trees to go. So we'll take out a couple of these. Well, those that moved closer to the railroad tracks, right? We should probably go get our train here at some point. So are we all connected up the other way? I think we are, right? We just have to reconnect this. Should almost test this route <laughs> first. Right, we get rid of these extra blips. No, we're not connected the other way. Not connected either way. All right, that seems fairly reasonable. That's right, we ran more gravel. Zoom now a little bit wider. Yeah, depending on the angle, it's just really hard to see. See whether it's shadows, kind of. That's just true in, in life as well. I know when I cut my grass and it's in the where the trees are, can really make it harder to see. I think I want to. See if I can't go a little bit straight. Worse, because you always have to, and then can we get away with fixing a turn? Let's 
It's never perfect. <laughs> See that? See how it's just, it's never perfect. It's just like the longer straight section than you expect right there. But yeah, without going all the way back to here, that's a straight section that looks good. Yeah, I don't really want that straight section in it. So we'll just take, get rid of all of this and that's, there's a straight section there. What? I don't know how far back it averages. It obviously smooths everything out as you're going and doing this, but I'm not sure. Like, you know, every time I click, how many does it go back and smooth? Like, the whole thing, or just the last two, or... Right, that's, that's pretty good. A little bit sharper right here than in other places, but I can live with that. Get rid of a couple relatively close ones here. All right, so let's flip this switch and get in the train, and we'll we'll give her a shot. Like I said, I think either one of them needs to be tested either direction. Let's uh, fix this first. Yeah, I'm not sure. Do we leave that? <laughs> leave that as a reminder of the past. Let's make that look deliberate. Yeah, it's pretty. I think it looks better. The whole, all the tracks do look better. If it would be nice if you could make a wider gravel bed. I'm not sure if there's a future cost of gravel planned in. And if there is, obviously that's. why you might not want it to be wider, but I really wouldn't mind if you could lay it wider. I think I might want to come down here and re redo that bit, huh? And that's the kind of improvement we can make in the future. Or I could make off camera. It's not making things glamorous is could be the second or third step to the whole process. Once you've worked out a lot of the details, All right, I'm sure this guy needs, I'm going to give him five, four firewood. Hopefully he takes them this time. No, he only took three. Pretty sure I gave him four. Yeah, so I'm starting to have a problem that other people are having. Yeah, we have no temperature, but hopefully we can get going. You certainly can't get away with it too much if you're going up a hill, I've learned. Like if I run out of steam at the smelter and I try to get up one of those hills... Like, you're just better off waiting. But if we can get going pretty good here, then we can cut this regulator down to where we're not using that much. Still keep moving like we are until the heat comes up. And if it only took three, that's going to be a bit of a problem, too, because yeah, we're not going to get that much heat out of three. But we'll just keep rolling and see what happens. Our light is open in the back somehow. That must have happened quite a while ago. I've done, this will be my third episode, so it's been, it could have, nothing got reset by the server for, for a little while. I've made saves in between the episodes, just, which everyone should do. Remember, this game doesn't auto save, so. If you haven't gotten caught with your pants down yet. Oh, oh, wait, break. I don't want to go that way, which is good. We'll go put more firewood in there. Yeah, we want to go this way. Yeah, we'll go put... Why are you holding it all the way up there all of a sudden? Yeah, well, we got it up to 49. Good. Give it... 
we are we should we should be well stopping cost us but i didn't want to go the other way so we had to let's see we're up to 51 on our water temperature can we, can we keep going let's cut it down so we don't use it quite so fast at least we'll be moving Oh, the drama <laughs> up to 80 temperature yeah it's 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 only using i think we'll be okay we'll at least keep moving anyhow we won't be going too fast till we there we go we're up to 100 water temperature do we do have all our rail cars right I always check because a lot of times I'm starting a new episode jumping in the trains after the server reset where the links may have been broken All right, we should be good to speed up take it reasonably slow through here but i think you know so far so good we certainly could have gone faster nice smooth you know again the gravel doesn't cost us anything so the rail construction is not more expensive let's feel like we're coming in here kind of hot and we will be downhill yeah how's the train look going through that yeah, not, not nothing too herkin a jerky this switches the right direction. Good. Yeah, this is where we're going to be. Just give it a tad of break because this should start a downhill after this switch. Things look pretty smooth. This is a little bit of 1% downhill, which is fine. If something happens, your train, you know, you will be stuck in here. Like if you leave your train. Yeah, I do like the idea of making these depots lower. Let's take that break off. We're just cutting on through. We obviously don't have anything to sell. So now, this is the exact situation. I think I want to drop this train off. We're going to go get some oil sold up here. So we'll have to back right around into our... We do that. I have to turn around. Well, we could loop right back around. No, but then we can't go. For, at this point, this is just strictly like a bypass. We can't. There's no like circle where we can come out this way and then go south unless we take this trip right here. Right. So this these look good, by the way. I can I can speed up these two switches. So we're. How about that last switch though? That looks good too. It's a bit hard to tell. I'll tell you what. This red and these things, I guess they were designed, you can really see that they're leaning one way or the other. Like, it's pretty amazing. And I'm pretty sure we're in good shape as far as leaning. Like I said, I think I switched them all. Yep, we are. Good. Let me turn it up and we'll... So we're going to have to go pull... We're going to have to stop down there and set up a bunch of switches. But it's... Uh... We're going to have to 
either turn around or back in. So I'm thinking maybe we just back in and, and leave our load. And then we'll go get the, uh, well, we can, we can talk about bringing Betsy over into the rail siding. All right, talk to you when we get down there. I think we're gonna have to stop here because we weren't switched to go. We headed straight down south the last time. See what I'm saying? Like in order to get over onto here and leave this, drop this off. Now the other thing I could do though actually is do we want to really leave this in there or is there any reason what would my next adventure be? stop before we derail I think my next adventure may be to haul lumber but I would still want to go get those other lumber cars and probably even buy more so yeah let's pull into there so we can see how this is if this becomes a real pain but I don't normally we wouldn't have gone that way we would have come up from the south and we'd have been able to pull right in that's the other thing like before I get too excited making changes that don't really need to be made. We probably well, we need to flip this one anyway, so we probably we'll flip it so we can go get into there and back up to these three. So that would well, those three. Oh well, wait, do we need three more? Oh yeah, because we only have seven here, and then that'll make ten. Those three other tier one snake bodies. And we'd want three more cars, but we don't have any money to buy them at this point, so I'm gonna have to hold off. Alright, I think we're we're far enough. See the next one's wrong as well. So now when we come out, I think I might just leave this train in here and go get Betsy out of the way. And we should decide, yeah, see, I don't really see that we need, we're going to be selling oil. I don't know that we really need any more of these cars to go sell oil. Now this guy's flipped to go straight. Are we going to be coming back out of here? And, no, we're going to be... Do we just take the whole six cars down there? I think we do. We don't really know if my chart is right on the oil because it says you can hold like 40 oil barrels. I don't have it open. All right, that's right. I'm just not talking and flipping things. I don't know. Um, yeah, so we want to back right into there, I think. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't, which means going this way, which means... It's on this one, right? Now, it's going that way. Yep. And then we should just leave this guy in there, and we'll run over and get Betsy. Maybe just for nostalgia's sake, we'll take Betsy down there to sell our first oil. Maybe that's fitting somehow that she gets her chance. She's the one that started it all. We're old number two here is is a fine and, and good upgrade to Betsy. But maybe not exactly, not as nostalgic, right? Yeah, so we should have enough fire temperature to, to do our thing.
too fast. Be another little test of our rail siding. I'm really liking this rail siding here. See how this is. Now again, is it? This isn't ideal, but we wouldn't normally have to do this. We normally would have come up from the south after dropping off lumber one way or the other, and we could have just pulled right in. And, and even then, we are going to have to spin around, right? Because at least, well, no, because we could have pulled past it and then backed in. That's kind of fast, I think, for backing around these turns. Let's go 13. Lucky 13. Do you know that in some Asian cultures, number four is unlucky? I didn't know that. So, like, they... If you ever get on a certain airplane or something, they might not have a row four. Like, like China Airways or something along those lines. I'm not sure how far... How many different Asian cultures feel that way about the number four. But much like Western cultures, some of them... I think on 13 is unlucky. We're moving right along. Let's do a little bit of break in action because I think this is downhill. All right, that's enough. Yeah, now is this whole train going to fit in there? I think so. Right? I don't think we're going to need to push those other cars forward more than accidentally happens. Give it a tiny bit of break. I really wish they would take this back to the old way where you could see exactly the number and then let go. Not sure why they decided to make it harder. Yeah, we're hitting that kind of hard. Set the brake on this one. The back one should already be set. All right, one, two, three. It should be this one. We might as well attach them so we don't, don't forget. And then this one should be set. And again, we're all downhill here, so they can't actually get out of the area, which is a nice design feature. And we'll undo this one. And that should be the only one that was set. Yeah. I don't know that we're leaving this here permanently. Can we shut that door? All right, but we'll leave it here for now. It's, I mean, it's out of the way. We shouldn't have any issues. And we can talk about do we leave? Let's get Betsy fired up. It's been a while since I used Betsy. I think I did go get logs with Betsy, which was actually one of the not that long ago in the grand scheme of things. Like, we've done a lot of things in between, but. Yeah, so Betsy would bring these cars here. Or do we bring Betsy and take these out of the way? Yeah, let's take these out of the way. Now, how's Betsy doing on? Betsy's full of water. Betsy's looking good. I'm so used to having that extra. Let's give her... Yep, we got 40 in there. We got some pressure after all these weeks of it just sitting there. Quite an amazing Betsy. <laughs> I have no idea if our switches are thrown right. Let's. Temperature's coming up anyway. I mean, we should be good. No, nah, we shouldn't be good because we. No, no, we should be good because we just switched over to be able to come off of this track. So as long as we can get out of here the right way. Which I think we should be good because we just pulled the lumber down, right? Yeah, so this one is the closer one, and that's lean. Yeah, I think we're good. We'll take it slow, but I think we should be able to get right around there. Get this log car pulled over there into our new rail siding so it's not... Or no, do we leave this? No, let's leave this. We'll just go do what we're going to do. Right, we'll leave these here for now. I'll work it out when we're ready to clean up things, I guess. All right, there we go. This one's also downhill, so you can't get out of here. All right, 
Let's make sure there's not another link in this. No, no link. Good, Betsy's got a little he heat going. Good old Betsy. Imagine like they built that thing and then the guy like got some wood out and built his little cabin around it. <laughs> Just too oh, is he a little bit no, his head's still or no, that's he they did make him did they make him shorter so he can see now. Yeah, a little bit. He just he just needs a seat or something, I think. All right, is that one flipped the right way? Yep. Yeah, so this little rail siding, I mean, I guess we can keep it here, but there's no, there's really no reason for these cars to be in here. All right, what's the other thing we haul with these? Oh, cordwood, I think. Yeah, so it's, I mean, that's no particular reason. It's not like the cordwood's needed at the sawmill, so. But Betsy is smaller, though. You can see she bounces around a little bit more. used to your own train I'm, I'm you know looking forward to getting more trains Let's check each of these since it's been so long I don't think I did anything but my normal but I don't need to set that one with that thing right back there but All right, so we should be good to pull right on out, I think. Got some fire in Betsy. You want to give her a little more? Yeah, let's give her a little more. That time I think I definitely missed. Yeah. Let's uh, bounce back out further forward. Yeah, I, uh, You know, the one we're going to have to switch is where we went into that rail siding which we're not going to do let's make sure everybody's coming with us yeah, so i don't think we need all six of these but whatever it is just in case it only holds eight we'll be ready to go that's getting to be too fast this is not the best turn in the world to go too fast on it's, it's a it's a nice turn. It's a little bit of a like a hump right here. See that? Another one of those switching issues where see how each one of those is rising up. I'd like to fix that one day. There we go. We're filling our uh, filling our thing up. Yeah, that's picture three more cars on there. That's it's nice that that one's nice and long because thirteen cars is. We need a decent sized rail side. And of course, we could always do it different if we had super duper long trains, but you could put a lot more train in there. I mean, you could probably put another eight cars in there, I bet almost. All right, so that's switched right. This one's switched right. Yeah, let's. It's this one after the water tower. Yeah, we're good in water. And then after I throw this switch, I think I'm going to cut the video getting a little bit long and then we'll we'll ride back together and we'll sell the our first oil how's that sound just to keep the video about an hour so let's throw in some brake not that much i don't can't really see that other switch i think it was right all right yeah, it's 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 the right way. All right, well, let me cut it here, and I will join you guys down at the oil when we pull up. We, I want to see if we actually can load that oil without any issues. All right, see you guys in a minute. I just noticed something. We got 20 barrels of oil plus 20 barrels of oil. So we actually got 40 for that. So that's, that's great. That's... Uh, 
going to be a lot more money. So let's see what happens with this shoot thing. I have no idea what's about to happen here. So drag up, down, left, right. Right. Can't do the barrel. So what are we doing here? Okay. Let's real quick see if we can't tell. 46. Yeah, so we should be... And they're going in there. <laughs> we have oil. Now, you notice I pulled up to where we could do both, I'm hoping. I don't see why this will be an issue. So we'll just let her go. You definitely don't want to waste oil, do you? So 46. Was my chart right? I don't even know. The, the thing online, the map that somebody made. It's only because one thing was wrong that I ever thought there would be a problem. I guess we could have been doing this one at the same time. huh? And like other shoots, you just want to move a little bit and then hold the button down. Let's make sure they all go on there. Yep, it's going on there. Good. Nice. Let me update my chart. Zero oil barrels. So now, here, let's go take a look at my chart. I should be able to open it real quickly here. It's a shame we don't have something like this in the game, right? So flat car can hold 46, $40 each barrel. So if they were full, that's $1,800, 18, 100, $1,840. Now, we're only less than half full, but that's still, you know, we should be getting... I don't know, 1500 or something. <laughs> so that's good because at this moment we have $130. So there we go. Now I already flipped the switch over there and I filled Betsy up with some more water. But let's give her. And then I also. Yeah, that's, it's definitely something's going on. Yeah, well, it took them. So I think I have all the switches flipped that we can get all the way up to the depot. Oh, I probably should have made did my marker thing. That's all right. It's we could do the marker thing later. I'm excited. This has been a lot of work. We finally are getting the end product. You know, I know we could have done better here and there, and I know we had some big issue. We could have gotten 60 more barrels of oil, but the next thing we're going to be doing is some logistics in general, and may, maybe make some improvements. So I think what I would like to do is, you know, just see about taking you guys through the entire logistics loop at that point. You know, just to see how we'll work it out. Try to start maximizing. Like right now, we don't have any, I mean, trees to cut down will just be like a matter of improving things, not a matter of, you know, having to cut it down or else we're not going to be connected to something. You know, like it just if we want to eliminate all these trees when we get more money, and of course, new locomotives and more rail cars. But we did confirm that we get 46 of these, so I think we're all switched. I do want to be careful now. We're switched right as long as we go on this one, I think we're fine. And I didn't change any of that, right? Yeah, so the biggest pain, I mean, if you look, this is what we ended up with. The last time is 21, 22 out of 24. But that's okay, because that'll be the last thing we drop off. We're going to load this up with 100 steel pipes at some point. We can, I don't know how many crude oils, but, you know, there's a 1,000 that we can put in there. So if we have 100 of the steel pipes and, and a, you know, 100 of the crude oil, we're going to have multiple train loads with the lumber, which is going to be an issue in its own right. Because, you know, getting the lumber and the beams balanced out. Like right now, I think we have 54 beams. So in order to get more beams, we're going to have to sell more lumber, which we don't have a place to put any more lumber. So when it comes to the going up to the coal mine, I'm probably going to have to... Oh, oh, definitely want brakes here. I did derail just trying to let it go down this hill without... So we definitely could make this smoother. I don't... 
I feel like when you start having the Great Pyramid of Giza, you know, for a ramp, <laughs> it's a little bit unrealistic. You know? When your gravel pile is somewhere around the sides of the Hoover Dam, you're taking advantage of, of game mechanics, I guess. through here too fast but I just did it at 30 on the other way so let's see if we're okay with a little bit more of a load going through here at 30 it's it's a bit tight but it's you know you'll look that a little bit janky there but smooth enough that we make it at 30 like I said I did flip this next switch up when we came I came straight down here I flipped it so we'd be good to go now, I really don't necessarily like this stretch of track. I think this is going to go on my list of improvements with this. Like, I think this turn could even be straighter this way. And then come in like it's... But the idea is okay. If, either that, and I also think I could redo this switch again. And, and make it a little bit less... Like, push more of the... Like, instead of the switch being this way, make the switch, like, right here. And more of the turn on both sides. Like, like see how this is dead straight, and then we get into this sharp turn. I think if I made that switch, it, it means redoing the whole thing, but I think that'll look better in the long run. But for now, if you look, it, it works fine. At some point, that is also what counts. Here we are, the moment we've all been waiting for, actually selling oil, the final product. <laughs> it's been fun, like I said. And then we have a new rail siding. We can go put these away in the rail siding. I know I need to... Oh, you know what? I didn't mention that I did make a new firewood pile. You may have noticed it up there. I haven't brought any cordwood to it, so... I'm not sure that what I'm going to do with this train... I don't need any more logs. I have like 86 logs in the lumber mill, so until we actually haul some of that. Yeah, that, was, that came, we came in there pretty, pretty smoothly with no noticeable issues. All right, let's see if we have any issues selling that stuff, and let's see how much money we get. Yep, 40 a piece. Is that what my chart said? 
I forget already. Yep, 40 a piece. Oops, sorry. Yeah, that's good money. Especially because we get double. It's one of the few things that we get double of the output. So that's, uh, look at that. Yeah, that's definitely a money maker. But we literally have quite a few hours of work if we want to get that back up to. Yeah, if we want to get, you know, another. Well, again, we lost quite a few barrels, but I'm okay with that. It's all fun. It's all about playing the game and. And enjoying driving our trains around, right? Well, let's take Betsy back, and we'll we'll end it as we drive down there. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do as far as the next episode goes. I'll take some time to think about it. We don't have to. We just had a major accomplishment, right? We got our by our what do you call it? The freight depot bypass, or I guess that would be a good name for it. Oh, I didn't delete that old track there. Huh? Yeah, I left some remnants, so yeah, we need some cleaning, and I guess I got a marker or two there to clean up as time goes on. Are we going in the right direction here? Yeah, good. And we can still get in and out of here to buy more rail cars. Oh, you know what? Let's do that. That's one, one last thing we can do. Yeah, that'll be good. Then we'll head down. Then we'll call it quits. Let me get past this. We'll buy three more tier... We could use more of these, but for now, let's go get three more lumber cars. Because that way, when we do the steel beams and reg or st the rails and the beams up to the coal mine, we'll have the right number of cars. 13 gives you, like, each rail car holds three beams. So if we have 10 of those, that'll be 30. And then... The rails, each of the the tier one flat cars holds 10 rails, so that'll also be 30, right, if we have three. So so we want a 13. Now, when we do lumber to the lumber and beams to the iron mine, we want 12. So we'll be in good shape either way. Flip that right. Wasn't wasn't talking, distracting myself. So we'll even we'll test this little bit of our. We haven't gone this way yet. I imagine things will be good, but we'll get some money. We'll. Yeah, because I think hauling lumber. I think we're gonna go through the entire thing, besides maybe the logging camp, which everybody has seen. And I don't need any logs right this minute. But even just with a few trips of lumber, we'll we'll be ready to get more logs. And that will get the iron going because we need to get the iron to get the rails, to get the coal. And I guess we're, another thing I think we don't use enough of is the iron itself. The tool works uses some, but it's not. I don't think it's in balance, is it? I think we might have to sell off some of the iron. I forget. And these switches here being part of this depot, no doubt they flip to their original positions every time, which is okay. All right, we'll just stop here, do a little G action. No, not tier, did I say tier one? I want tier two. Right, we're not going to buy all of them because we'll. It's just I want to make sure there's a. Let's get a link in this one. That way, when we get up there, we can just bump right into the first one and attach it. Now, if we could, we could run all the way up there, I guess, and. Make, get a, put another link in that one, but whatever. Probably would have been smart now that I think about it, but I'm already back in and moving. Fire temperature's dropping pretty good.
I think we're there. Take that break off. Put a link in here. And then we'll do the same thing here because we'll pull forward and then that way we won't have to come on. Leave the break on there for a minute. Put that extra link in will save us a bit of a trip running up and down the length of the train. Wrong way. Oh no, right way. I'm sorry. Getting confused with myself. Getting too much of a rush. I I do this like we're feel like I have to end the episode quickly or something. You know, that's just not it's not that critical. I'd like to keep them to an hour because then I have less issues processing them. But if they're an hour and fifteen minutes, it's not it's not the end of the world either. There we go. I think we're there. Can't really see because these bulkhead cars are... You can't see through them quite as easily as you can the others. Yeah, there we go. Now, if we get far enough off this track... You don't even have to be off the track. You just have to be far enough that you're not taking up... Ooh. You're not taking up that space. Let's try that. Worst thing happens is it puts it in the other one, right? All right, so how much money do we have? 980. Not a ton, but yep, put it in the right place so we don't even have to get out because we already put that link in because we're thinking ahead. Yeah, I don't know if there's a bulkhead, these bulkhead cars. I'm not sure what the ideal number is, because really when we do the cordwood, I think six fills up an entire, an entire thing. So I think we're there. Oh, you know what? I didn't look at the shadows. I think you can see with the shadows better than you can. It does definitely looks like we're we, we got it. All right, well there we go. So I'm gonna drag these back down. We'll I'll put these in our you know, split up the trains and I'll I'll either do the yard work with you guys or not. It sort of depends on what happens. Like I said, I've just done three episodes back to back to back. <laughs> so I need a break, clear my mind, and I will come up with a good plan for the next episode. But hey, we have sold oil. We are we have advanced as far as we can advance as far as the products that we can now deliver, right? So thank you guys for watching. It's been a pleasure, like I've said, and uh, I hope to see you in the next episode. Take care, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.